Hey guys, today's video is about using prop baits. Hey guys, Scott Patton here. I want to talk to you today about uh, top water baits, but one particular type of top water bait that a lot of guys overlook, and I hardly, you know, you don't see that many guys using them. They're used more in Florida than anywhere, but I use these baits all over the country. I've used them up north for smallmouth. I've used them right here in, right in Chickamauga area, uh, you know, here on uh, the Tennessee Valley Lake area, uh, all the Tennessee Valley lakes and stuff, and all the way, to, of course, down there in Okeechobee, down there where I guide. But uh, prop baits, is a bait that will catch a lot of big fish and um, it's a, a lure like I said in a sound it's a lure that the fish are not hearing that often so a lot of times when you can pick up a lure if they're hitting top water and you're gonna make a different sound with it um, then you're gonna get attention to these fish and you're gonna catch more fish with them but it's talking about prop baits there's all kinds i mean you can see i got three boxes of them right here and i've got more of them put away that are my backup baits but i i use a lot of different colors a lot of different different profiles and um that you know you have to kind of experiment with the type of profile that you that will get those strikes from the fish that you're fishing for but a couple of my basics and if you're just getting into you know when you want to get into prop baits is uh i always use uh lucky crafts kelly j it's probably one of my favorites i've caught so many giant fish on okeechobee with it i've caught big fish here on chickamauga with it in the middle of the summer you know post spawn spawn um and i've caught you know i've caught big smallmouth with it up north on lake champlain uh in the thousand island area but it's a real good bait you know that's the bone color right there then you got your short short your shad and if you look right here one thing i do to make these baits have different sound is you know i order extra props and i may take them from one bait to the other but see this is a standard prop that comes on the Kelly J, but I've, I've uh, put smaller props on it so it doesn't make as much noise, especially if I'm fishing real slick water. Um, you may be fishing real shallow water, so it's not gonna be as loud. And so I've done that, I've done real good, especially up north for smallmouth uh, with that smaller prop on there versus the real big one where it doesn't make as much noise, it's more subtle. So you really wanna ch you know, check the conditions or you know, depends on the conditions you're using. Uh, if it's more chop on the water, then of course, I'm a, and most of the time, I'll keep the standard prop on that. But if you got chop on the water, that prop right there works really good but just remember you can always change out these blades and it's not expensive to buy extra uh, prop blades you can uh, find them on barlows and in different places like that some of the major uh the tackle stores uh, probably have them in stock too, but just you know, you just, it's something you don't see all the time as far as those uh, extra blades. But if you start looking around, you can find you can find a couple different size. You know, this is a, a a chrome blade on there. Of course, right here on this bluegill color, they got a gold blade. And just like it, I don't care if you're throwing a, a, a buzz bait or what have you, sometimes that different color blade, the flash that's coming off from that blade color can make a big difference. So I make sure I carry uh different color blades as well um you know and we'll go into profiles right now you know you got you got your short stocky uh bluegill type styles like this this one here is made this is made out of plastic this one here is made out of balsa that's a real good bait that's one i picked up down there uh tackle store there at Roland martins uh, i've caught a lot of fish on that i ain't for sure who makes this one but um, like I said, it's made out of balsa. It's been a real good bait to me. You can see the difference in the profile of these two right here. This is a new one that Bagley came out with this year. And uh, I've done real good here on Chickamauga with it. And you can see the difference in the profile with that. It's a little bit thicker. 
Lana Water was this bait here. That's probably my number one. But what I'm getting at is, you know, use different profiles. You know, this right here is a devil's horse. That thing catches a bunch of fish. It's really good down south uh, in, in your Florida lakes. And uh, of course, this white one's probably one of the better ones. Uh, that's especially on uh, when you're fishing down south in the Florida lakes, you know, your long, narrow uh, prop baits like this are really good. Another one, this, uh, these have been made forever. This one here is a Bagley. You can see it's got a bill on it. It's got a prop on the end of it. And, uh, you know, this is, this, when you jerk it, it'll spit water with the tail and it'll dive and wiggle down in the water like that. And then it floats back up surface. You jerk it like that. Really, it's always, this, this is an old lure that's been made for years, you guys. And it's a good springtime bait. Even in the summertime and fall, it's a real good bait. And uh, it's just got, got that fantastic action. It's a good bait to throw around beds, too. Um, it just has that extra action, and you can move it a lot. And with the bill, it slows down the movement of it when you twitch it. So it's, uh, it'll stay around and on top of that bed real good. So around uh, bed and fish, this bingo lure is another real good lure. Uh, good lure. Um, you know, something else, too, is the tail feathers. You know, I tie a lot of my own tail feathers, and you can buy them. I don't just use white, which white is the most popular. You know, like this bait right here, the chartreuse one. Get that out there. I change, you know, if this is a real good uh, bait in, you know, up, you know, fish anytime you brackish waters, you know, down Okeechobee and stuff, it's real good. I've done real good on this. But I, what I'll do is what I'm more or less getting at is I'll change those tail feathers. See, I got some white and chartreuse tied on that right there. And that's one of the benefits of tying your own uh, treble hooks with your feathers is you can make your know, combination. I may tie some with white and red. And in clear water, that stuff can make a difference. But uh, this is another boss of bait, another real good lure. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, here's some. I got a, a local guy here, a buddy of mine that makes these. These are all made from wood. You see, he's got small props on it right there. It's a real subtle bait. And this, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, it's all home homemade. Done real good here on Chickamauga with that. Uh, I just started using these this, this year. I'm looking forward to getting down Okeechobee and fishing with this. And I'm gonna also have some, you know, I'll end up putting some feathered uh, hooks on the backs of these. But uh, I just kind of want to point out that you know, prop baits is something that a lot of anglers are not using. Uh, it's something that you should add to your arsenal when you're fishing top water, and uh, you're just going to make yourself use them. But I'm telling you, if you if you start fishing these baits and have confidence in them, uh, you'll start catching more fish with them, uh, and you'll catch fish that you may not catch with other top water baits, especially when you have a lot of guys fishing top water baits at certain times of the year. Um, that is pretty much it you know of course you want to throw these on mono you can't throw them on braid you guys because that braid's going to wrap around that uh front prop i've tried it only way you can do that is to tie on a mono leader uh on that braid you know about 10 inches or a foot or so uh you can get away with doing it that way but i normally would just use straight mono uh, sometimes when i'm smallmouth fishing if i'm making long casts uh I may go with a braid to a mono leader. Don't use fluorocarbon because it's going to sink and it's not going to pull the nose of your bait down. So make sure you, if you go with a, uh, a braid to mono um, line, make sure it is mono, not fluorocarbon. And uh, I'll do that. I'll, I'll, the times I do that is usually when I'm catching, I have to make a long cast to get my bites, maybe because it's in clear water. Uh, and I want good hooking power when I do that. So. Uh, you know, using the braid with a mono, the braid won't stretch, especially if you make a real long cast with these baits and they, you know, come up and get that bait, you can get a good hook set on that. So as far as lines and stuff like that, that's what I like to use. Most of the time I go from 15 to 17 pound test. Most of the time, um, you know, if I get a big fish on one of these baits, uh, prop baits like this, and he gets me down there grass around a tree, I won't put too much pressure on him. I kind of hold him where he's at and go in after him. Uh, you can get away with a lot of them throwing 20 pound tests on them guys if you want to go that route But you just kind of kind of play with them and um, You know, you know, like I said use the different profiles different colors You know a lot of times some of these bases. So oh, there's another devil's horse this older one It's got an orange belly. I got a hook off from that one look like I robbed it to put on another bait But a lot of times these ones with the orange bellies 
can be real good to you guys all right so especially uh if you're fishing on cloudy uh cloudy days windy days and stuff like that but anyways you guys you know try try some of these prop baits make sure you subscribe and uh, hopefully this tip will help you out next time you're on the water just uh, give them a try i'm telling you to help you catch more fish thanks guys